Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you how to switch to the old interface in case you're not familiar with the new interface. Starting from around R26, Cinema 4D interface was changed to this beautiful outlook. But sometimes I might want to go back to the previous interface. And looking at this, you might think it's not possible. So I'm going to show you how to switch to the old interface. But before we do that, there's something I want to show you. If you come to edit, preference, and you come to interface, you will see that we have highlight features. We have R25 up to the latest version. Now, when you come to this edge, you click on these three dots, you come to layout, Now, when you look here, you will discover that none of this layout is selected. Let me undo that again. I, I uncheck the layout and look at this standard is selected. But when I check on this layout, none is selected. So if I decide to select standard, for example, this is what I have. I have the old interface. If I go to model, the animation uh, disappears. I can go to rigging and animate. So everything is given its own interface. What about UV? So it means that you can actually have that same old interface while still using the latest version of Cinema 4D. And I find this to be interesting because while watching old videos of Cinema 4D, I see this editable here moves from somewhere here to this place. And if you don't know that, you will be confused especially if you are a beginner. So this is exactly how to switch from the new interface to the old interface. Now, now that we are on the old interface, let's go to edit reference and move this from 25 to 2023 and see if we're going to have any changes. So I'm going to choose 2023 here. Now close that and nothing. I can even try the 2024 and nothing. Now I want to go back to the new interface. I will click on these three dots and uncheck this. And you can see none of this is selected. So I need to select one of them. Standard and embark to the 2024.5 version, which I have currently. So this is how to switch between the new interface to the old interface thank you for watching this video i will see you on the next one